<laughs> feel like Slim Shady. Guess who's back? Back again. No. Psycho's back. Tell a friend. Yeah. Got it. You like that? You like that intro? Well, it's good, wasn't it? It's good. You've got to admit. I'm glad you've stopped. Now. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for the thanks for the dad jokes there, Rich. Uh, we we're, we're, we're being a, somebody said earlier on, being very patriotic today. Yes, we are. Red, white, and blue. Look, lovely, aren't they? Pretty, pretty we little cars. We yeah. All these ideas, Rich, don't we? Yeah, yeah, we do. Yeah, <laughs> very clever. Yeah. And all three. Yeah. Revo RT330. Yes. yes. Not bad for us, carrot crunchers, crunchers is it? Yeah. Eh? That's it. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, the one in the centre here, I, I haven't really seen before because uh, Carlo is, you know, I haven't met him. I've seen his YouTube channel and um, and bits, but he's been down for the big brake kit. You ain't going to be disappointed, Carlo. I can testify to that. And if you use them as hard as I do, then fair play to you, dude. Simple as that, that's all I can say. Um, <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I mean, the thing is with the brakes, I mean, because this yeah. we're going to talk about, I mean, all three cars have the same brakes up on them, and that's yeah. why we thought we'd do this little yeah. trio video um, and explain yeah. what's what because they're all each one are individual in a way. Well, they're the same color brakes, but yeah. this is different and all that sort of stuff. But they are, this is the only like track orientated one, really, because Carlo stripped it all out himself and all that sort of stuff on it. But yeah, so they're all RT330, which is really important. And then we'll talk about yours, Timmy, and Malcolm's run Mechanum. Yeah. Which is obviously going to borrow custom install kits. Carlos does not. I'm sure that he's going to want to run the Mechanum because yeah. all he's got to do is, I've already spoken to him about it, speak to Timmy, isn't it? Yeah. Speak to Rich, speak yeah, to Malcolm, yeah. and then they'll yeah. explain yes. the difference it right. makes by having the, the, the Mechanum. Okay. Yeah. So we can talk about them individually, Rich, isn't it? So let's talk about Malcolm's. Yeah. yeah. Cracking colour, spirit blue. In the sun, fantastic. Yeah, well, it's lovely to fantastic. have a customer's car. It's been a featured car in, uh, in, in fast the forward, Fast now. Forward magazine. Yeah. Fast yeah. Forward. Yeah. 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 Uh, I didn't know if we were allowed to mention their names yeah, as copyright or anything. But Done a lot of this himself, hasn't he? Yeah. So, yeah. And all the gloss black features that he's had, you know, we had lower fog lights around. There's yeah. not fog lights in there anymore, it's bright cooling ducts. And the lower grill part, I mean, it's got TRC front splitter. He's done the uh, uh, honeycomb delete yes, as well, so more air into the intercooler. Yeah. So we'll yeah. have a little wander around, Rich, shall we? And then the, yeah. um, you can see he's running the negative camber on the uh, on the wheels. So he's got the same originally as they all did. So Malcolm had the same setup as you, which was the standard shocks. And we put 20, uh, 30, 35 mil yeah. drop on the H&R springs. So yeah. we had that for a while. And then we put camber adjustment bolts on the top, uh, you know, uh, porch, if you want to call it, on the shot, on the strut, yeah. getting that negative camber. Now we switch to the same as what, well, you haven't got them yet, have you? No. Nope. You're lagging, mate. And so he's got the same, <laughs> the little beast and hashtag O2-1's. It's, it's on the list. It's on the list. Got, got turbo lag. Yeah, <laughs> which is the, um, which is the H, still staying on the H&R thing, but full on coilovers. Yeah. yeah. Right, so now you, can, you don't need that camera box anymore. It's done. On the elongate, it's not on the actual struts themselves. Yeah. So that's the suspension Obviously, side of it. You, you had the big brake kit in the in the yellow, which um, which came yeah, off the little beast, which used to be the little beast. And I like the yellow. Tried and the tested blue. thoroughly by you, yeah. They were properly tested on and off the track. My might add. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, we, we Meaning, hey, off the track doesn't mean on the road, viewers. That means <laughs> no. spinning around in the gravel. <laughs> Um, as yeah. Pete Harrison well, we managed to, so, we managed to sort out the uh, yeah. we managed to sort out the little love taps that um, yeah, Rich yeah. gave the brakes at Donington. He did, but it that's all been done now. He only lost the front grill. Dri so driver good. error, not not predicting the the heavy rain downpour we on had in a big or triple eight hours and a big river running across yeah. the track. But not Just once, viewers. <laughs> Twice. Twice he spun it. So yeah. you'd think that if he spun it once, <laughs> he'd have learned his lesson. But Don no. Donington, they need to sort their he got useless. back on it, as Pete Harrison can confirm, because <laughs> he was in the passenger seat. Pete, if you're listening, you can confirm that, mate. And yeah. not only so, so then he went and spun again. <laughs> and this time we lost the front grill. That went. Uh, well, yeah. I don't know where that went. It was. Yeah. Uh, it was still at Donington, probably. Yeah, yeah. Just a souvenir, I guess, on the side yeah, of the uh, track. But then, yeah, we had a quarter day because it was it was too dangerous. Then yeah. it, yeah. was, it was too dangerous. It was too dangerous. Yeah. We were lucky. We were lucky. Well, there was a couple of nasty offs after we made the decision to. Well, there was to uh, stay in, didn't they? Roof, didn't they? So yeah, was, yeah uh, some nasty that's, offs that no, day. Not good, is it? And we had to get the car. <laughs> and it was just home, didn't we? So, it was yeah. national day, and it was just torrential rain all day, really, wasn't it? Horrendous, horrendous. So 
Yeah. But like Brett said, so he's got the OZ Ultra Legueras on it. So those wheels are what's off. The reason we've got M Sport on them is because they're off hashtag O21 Monty's yes. platform. So he's kept the, yeah. he, he quite likes the, the M Sport OZ on it. So, so that's no. the front brakes. That's, so like Rick yeah. said, so the one's off a little base, 340 mil disc on the front. Yeah. They're just, they're cross road, single row. Eight pop progressive piston caliper with DS2500 brace pads, braided lines all round. Brodo Super Formula race brake fluid, as we've mentioned on many occasions, and the stopping bar is pretty immense. And you go to the rear, which is this is where people don't do much on the rear. No. Uh, I think we're the only ones that have actually uh, gone to the trouble of creating with our technical partners, partners high spec, a rear brake yeah. setup that actually is effective. As yes. again, as tried and tested, yeah. over tested <laughs> by yeah. Rich. If you yeah. want to be honest, over tested and yeah. um, to the extreme. And Rich can, you know, we, well, can, just uh, give you a little insight into what these brakes yeah. actually do. Yeah, you know, because well, any any potential customers, Rich, that are thinking about having this brake kit like Carlos just had, yeah, you've got Monty's got, then the person to ask is Rich 12 track sessions at Castle Coombe in boiling hot weather, 30 degree heat. Every time I stamped on the brakes, um, they were there. It's, it, it never faded all day. Confidence um, is good, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was confidence brilliant. Factor, it, it was absolutely brilliant, yeah. Um, no, I think uh, Carlo's going to like his. Yeah. He's obviously going to track that, but so, yeah. It's, just uh, explain to us, Rich, the, because viewers are going to ask, what we're talking about the rear brakes, because everybody knows, yeah, you put big brakes on the front and they all do the same and all this sort of stuff, but yeah. that's not exactly true. But when we move to the rear, this is where it gets interesting, Rich, isn't it? Because yeah. Rich has tested the little beast with, we had obviously standard brakes, which you might as well just chuck in the bin. Uh, Revo Alcon brakes, really fantastic upgrade. You will see a bit more on that because we'll, we'll be fitting some um, on the customers coming down from up north, which is gonna happen soon. But, so the Revo brakes, a fantastic upgrade from, from standard, 332 mil disc, mono cast four pot caliper, as I said, made by Alcom. Great. So we put them on with just beefed up the rears, which yeah. we put like groove discs on the rear, or, or sorry, a hurt groove discs on the rear to match the front. We put DS2500 race pads on the rear to match the front, and then Rich took it out on circuit, and yeah. Rich will explain oh, it was, what it does. Yeah, it was brilliant, um, you know, front end wise, but turning into corners, um, you know, you'll get a bit oversteery with a braking oversteer. Um, and yeah, the front brakes obviously took all the brunt of the braking force, which you know it, it doesn't help any car if you can if you can balance the braking um, between front and rear, um, you know, and get it right from front wheel drive to rear wheel drive, it'll be different. But we've got this well, high spec have got it spot on. The you know it takes some pressure off the front brakes and you know help to reduce that. Um, that braking oversteer and the, the um, nervousness yeah yeah definitely the nervousness and yeah obviously helped out the front brakes so if they're both working together your brakes are going to last longer obviously high spec obviously do a lot with racing as well but um you know any of the race cars the track cars rally cars it doesn't matter what it is they have similar size brakes on the rear than they do on the front they might be slightly smaller even on front or rear or four-wheel drive cars their brakes are almost identical size front and rear. If they're doing it, why can't we do it? If it works for them, it, it definitely works for us. So yeah, yeah. It's, it's. I mean, you're always yeah. going to get the the opinion factor where, yeah. like, somebody will say, "No, oh, no, you run small brakes on the back." You know, touring cars yeah. run smaller brakes on the back. Well, that's whatever their application yeah. is. I don't know that, yeah. but all I know is that it took a lot of working out. So we've got the math the maths right on this. With it was to retain the. OE stock electronics, the ESP, the ABS braking, yeah. with the with the brakes that we fitted. That's really important. Now yeah. you could, it's not the end of the world if you have to put a brake bias valve in, because what that means, you could then pull braking from the front and put yeah. it to the rear and all that sort of stuff. So it's not the end of the world, but what we wanted to do for customers like you and Malcolm and um, Monty, you don't want to be messing around adjusting stuff. So yeah, no. it was important to get the, 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 the balance right with the piston size, etc., to work with the onboard electronics for you know focus rs and fiesta st which yeah. it works you know because i mean you Malcolm's done what you've done quite a few thousand miles in that monty yeah. has rick we've done testing on it we've over tested it uh and get feedback from from yourselves and um, you know a quick feedback from you to me well what do you think of the brakes on your car 
Oh, I mean, you know, as I said... Scaringly, to, scaringly powerful, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, as I've said to Rich so many times, I mean, I still haven't really found the limit of them. And no. on roads, you it just gives you full confidence. Yeah, well, yeah, we, we have. Yeah, um, it does yeah. take a bit of getting used to, <laughs> yeah, I mean, because if you, if you stand on them, yeah. as you would normally on brakes, yeah. you'll, you'll be uh, thrown forward. So you yeah, do I have think, to get a bit of... The thing is with them as well, they're on the road or the track if you use the right pad you, you don't need nothing else um mm. you know they, they work they're not vicious on the road they it's, work straight away yeah, don't they yeah, there's yeah. none of this warm it's up 10 minutes vicious. you know no, it's no. Uh, the ds2500 i mean everybody's gonna have their own view their own opinion yeah about you know whichever pad's best this is better that's better that's always the case you're never going to change that but we can only go by what we've tested we've tested the s2500 uh, race pads in, in the RS and the, the Astra application, superb, like Rich said. Yeah. He's been on circuit many, many times in different ambient temperatures and they work. They work. There's no there's no issues. So why would we then try something else? I mean, you know, yeah. Paget RS29, yes, but I just feel that the Paget RS29 is more for a heavier car, like a Merc, like a BMW, like an Audi and all that sort of stuff. But yeah. why would we start messing around with brake pads when we know that they work? We proved it. So um, we do lots of testing. There's nothing. There's not. There's no other way. No. Uh, you know, I've done enough testing, <laughs> and customers have, haven't they, on yes. the, to say that these are awesome. Yeah. As are they are on the RS. Yeah. But so you know, separate uh, electronic parking brake caliper yeah. here. So. And then obviously inside you've got the the parking brake button, which is nice and neat. Which we'll show that in a uh, in a second. It's a quick look in the similar to yours actually in the rear. So he's got the full methanol install with braided lines. Right, it's quite an involved. It is, yes, um, yeah. I mean, it's... install. I mean, it, of it's because it's well, it is if you want to do it properly, that's for sure. But it doesn't have to change it. You know, you can look through. Look down there. Look, there's the beaming away at us. Is the electronic parking yeah, brake button, which so is nice and neat. He's got it. Installed. He's got it off further on. Yeah, because the, he wants to retain the jack. Yeah, off. yeah. Which we've had this conversation before with his missus. His missus has got <laughs> thousands of songs she likes <laughs> yeah, to listen to, exactly. Rather than talking yeah. to Malcolm in the but, car. So, with the meth, as we said before, they all run RT330. Now, I'll, I'll, I will explain it again quickly. So RT330, you have a 102 capability of 102 octane math, which is number four on the SPS switch. So if you haven't got that, so Carlo hasn't got methanol, so he can only run that on 99 run fuel. And that's it. But he can for, he can put 102 of race fuel in it if he wants to. He might do a little bit, but it won't do much because the timing won't see it. All right, so you need to advance it off and you won't see it. So, looking at it in that respect, your, yours and Malcolm's are, it's got that advantage on yeah, yeah. because, yeah. and he knows that, because it's got, you're not running pretty race fuel in it, but the methanol will crank it up beyond 102 octane. Yeah. Again, it's only looking for 102, so it won't do much, if it's 104, 105, it won't do much more because it's only looking for 102. But you've got the cooling effects, as we explained with the RS. You know, it'll, it'll, the internal cleansing of the engine, all the valves and all that sort of stuff, right? And your octane and your your cooling intake charge. Everything's going to run off your So you, when well, I put the meth on yours, installed the meth kit. What was the? Oh, I just you, you know I was used to the RT three thirty on ninety nine, but having the meth yeah. just feels completely different. Yeah, Rev, it's, 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 more, it's more. It's much more kind of like free it? free revving. There's yeah. a lot. It's a lot more talky down low as well. And the sound sounds so, like Monty was saying. Changes the sound yeah, it's different sound of the exhaust yeah. note as well, yeah. and um, yeah. different characteristics. So obviously with That's the nice yeah. yeah with the Revo you got the overrun, and it certainly yeah. has a lot more overrun on the 102, does, which yeah. Uh, yeah. you kind of expect really with that. Yeah, let's move on to Carlos. Well, yeah, star of the show. Obviously, this one's been in recently, so this, currently so, in now for yeah. work, so including is, the brakes. This is the one where, um, I mean, we'll open all the bonnets on them in a minute, but this is the one like you've just mentioned recently come into us finished now so it came in for a big brake kit very similar to yours actually. yes yeah in yeah i mean it's uh in the yeah. red with the with the white looks surprisingly one. similar just a, this is different rich isn't it so he's yeah, got yeah. he's got the groove yeah. this race groove on that which is the most popular one as opposed to you've got you know drilled uh, and grooves drilled and groove yeah all right different wheels yeah um, he doesn't need so these are the team dynamics aren't they the team dynamics uh pro threes something pro they threes are. yes and they've got no spacer requires. These are 38 offset, whereas like these are 42, so they yep. require a spacer. Yeah. All right. And yours requires a spacer, Timmy. They do. Yes. On ultra Ligueras as well. Yep. Same ones. Yeah. 
So if we have a look inside, look. As you can see, a very different sort of car to Malcolm's and mine. So this yeah. one's fully stripped out. Carlos, full he's cage. A, he likes to, I've said this before, we must mention Charlie Victor 007. All one word, no spacing. Yep. So that, um, we'll put that. There's a link, there'll be a link in the description of the video. The but yeah, check him out and subscribe because he's got his own YouTube channel, which um, you'll be able to see some of the stuff he's done to his car, including the yeah. stripping out the interior, which is very yeah, interesting. Yeah, he has a gold, doesn't he? I mean, you know, he likes tinkering around, which is fine. All the, you'll see on his videos, he had a go at the graphics and all that sort of stuff, which is which is great. We like that. We do, yeah. So it made it a bit easier for the install because he's already took all the interior pretty much out. So it's button is down there where yours is to me so he still retains to so yeah. lose the jack plug he still retains the usb but it's a lot easier we'll show you if we open the tailgate we can show you the um i mean like he's fitted his own smart steering which is cool yeah we like that we're on the tailgate look so we can see you can see the install so if you look further on down look so the little bit is sticking up there that is the micro switch for the parking brake which was there so we've tucked, because it's stripped out, we've tucked that out, but you need to, obviously, with a button, the button needs to be compressed down because the light was staying on the dash all the time now, so that thinks that the handbrake's, you know, off at the moment, which is, which it is, because yeah. it's not there anymore. So that's been taken out. All your loom feed, look. So that's all nice and neat. That comes from the ECU, which we'll show you in a sec. That comes up and it splits left and right. And then we go through the grommets yeah, so it's a slightly different install on this one. Than yours. It? So well, yours in uh, Monty's in Malcolm's is different, yeah, because yours connections are on the outside under the arch. Yes. Following the brake pipe lines where the liner is. You can't, if you were to do that on yours and you need to get to those connections for some reason, you'd have to take all the interior panels out again, which would be a nightmare. So hence why these are done neatly through the grommets, because it's inside, they're tagged nice. So it's all, it works well, doesn't it? It does, yeah, yes. Different install, Richard. Really tidy, mate. Yeah. No, I mean, that's what we've done. No, I've done that. We'll do that on the little beast when we get round yeah. to doing this. Yeah. On this side, look. Be... I mean, you're going to see this car featured a lot on Carlo's own channel because when he gets it back, he's going to do his own videos, isn't he? About what's, what's back. And so we've purposely put this down, look. So the loom runs through there. It's all nice and neatly. You know, that's where the button, it's all tagged. Or, we always have a spare, reel it up, and it's sat under there, inline fuse, which you can get to easily. So if there's an issue with, with that and it, and it blows it for whatever reason, then he's, he can get to it easy, all right? Very, very reliable, simple system. None of this where it's activates, self-activates when you pull away or when you stop and turn this off, it comes on. It's just more, more complicated, more to go wrong. So that's very simple. Hold the button for two seconds, as you know to me, and it releases, that's your safety keep your finger on it for two seconds it puts the handbrake on very simple that's and you can on. hear you can hear the motor going you so you you know going, you know yeah. it's working and so obviously you've got the light on the yeah. the so, dash so there's your ecu there all wired in that sits on there next to the control unit there and then nice and neatly off out the way you don't see it do you rich so it's oh. uh no it's all ideal it looks good and then if you give a quick look in there you'll see that where we've where we've uh, ran the wires around yeah the dump. yeah you can see in there guys just goes down each really? side so yeah in terms of fitting the electronic parking brake slightly different install on this one which yeah, um you... yeah you'll be replicating this on the little beast when you get a chance won't you making it neat takes time for you right exactly yeah <laughs> yeah talk, <laughs> talk about mine last because yeah, it's uh, not as important yeah. really right so yeah we'll talk about yours last yes we'll open the bonnet on yours don't worry thank okay. you so yeah i mean you can see uh two different looks um and yeah yeah we've got you know we've got different uh, aspects here i mean there's different bits of cooling there which which malcolm's done with a bow saw but he's got the gloss black finished engine cover carlos is in the in the matte black we don't want them all the same do we hey but you can see that no. the way that i mean they're similar but they're similar but different which is what we like so. yeah I mean, you can see some of the upgrades yeah. that Malcolm had recently. In yeah, here. but they've all—all um, all three of these have got retained. Yours, Amp. Have you got? You've got. You retained aircon as well, haven't you? I've got. Right, aircon, so all yeah. three have retained aircon. You know, with regards to oil cooler, that hasn't got an oil cooler fitted or the radiator, so that's probably a next mod that Carl's going to do. Yours and Malcolm's have. They're pretty identical, although you were lagging behind because you haven't got the suspension. <laughs> and then you're going to overtake them in a minute because you're going to be having. Lots uh, of really interesting upgrades. 
or oh, yeah, and beyond, we'll be, which you will be discussing that in a separate that's video. That's going to be something that we'll talk about on another video, guys. Yeah, but yeah. Is, so that's that's Malcolm's engine bay. Very pretty, but functional. Yeah. Okay, we've seen we've always got the Zircotec cut with Simpson manifold. Yes. Which yeah, reduces again, the heat you know, different to Carlos. So I, Carlos got the standard. Up to 30%. Manifold okay. same as mine. Carlos is yeah, he didn't he's not uh, not sort of thing that he wants to do at the moment. Maybe he will do later, but cracking. Yeah. And, and uh, this, this one's this got the um, um yeah. this one's got the competition parallel intercooler everything radiator spout. Well fan. He, he couldn't have you running away in the distance, could he? So he had to <laughs> catch up. Yeah. That's why he's so Malcolm's got the, the full daddy parallel intercooler, the competition one like we run on the little beast like you've got. Yep. Um like Monty's got radiator. Oh, you know the old cooler side of things but the smaller one because he wants yeah. to retain the uh, air con so he doesn't bake himself in the car you know yeah it's very important especially on a day like this guys hotel rich no air con in the little beast yeah definitely and then obviously so you've got carlos, carlos here yeah, which is a bit more rough and ready this is different look because he wanted to use the Revo Kong filter from the RC330 yeah, kit so we so had a custom uh, yeah we had a custom 90 degree silicon hose made um, you know obviously just just fabricated to uh, Simpson manifold as you say that's all there and then all the gold wrap on the underside etc so that's the revised one like Malcolm's got you've still got I've got the original so I need to have the revised which one which is going to be done when you come back for the, yeah. for the upgrades so that's a bit about under the bonnet with those that's what we pointed out, Rich. Yeah. Red, white, and blue. <laughs> well, we've yeah, the, so. We've done the red one yet. We've done the white one and the blue and one. And you know what they say, red ones go faster. Yeah. Proven by the little beast. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Malcolm's giving me daggers, <laughs> so. <laughs> Very similar under the bonnet with all the heat management going on. Head of tank, pro alloy. Same yep. Malcolm's. Different cap. You've got the stand, race cap. Malcolm hasn't got that. But. Hey. Who cares, Rich? Who cares? Who cares? Very similar, as you can see. Can't run the same race fittings as we do on the Little Beast or um, Monty does because of the catch scan and because you need aircon delete yep. to, to, to do that because it won't fit. It's too, you can't get the angle that you need. You've got the first version of the engine cover, which yes. is why that's there like that because you haven't had time. Well, because of the lockdown, etc., there wasn't time to bring it back to revise that so as you can see if you see viewers look at the whole size there yeah well we there and then look at the this here on, um, and then there's no peg fixed in there but then yeah. if you switch across to and then on the rear where it bolts onto the head that's different so if you look on carlos that yeah if you go back to the yeah. previous video we did a carlos we show you the uh differences don't yeah. we on the two so that's, the covers. that's bigger and then if you look under there we're showing you that's a peg yeah there, so it's so just under there that. just so it's, it's much nearer Malcolm's has got the same, he's yes, got the revised yeah. one as well. You're lagging behind again. I'm lagging behind on that, yeah. All right, I mean, look, what's all this going on here? <laughs> yeah. Just, I think that just needs to be sorted out in post checks, I think. It does. It's lack of maintenance, uh, Rich, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. You know. Uh, anyway, sorry, I'll, sorry, I'll do apologise. It should be like that. I mean, Malcolm's in like that. He, he's, he's, well, he's, does preventative maintenance. He's very, he? he's very attentive. Hmm. Right, so this is the only one with the carbon bonnet. So we'll talk about that. Yeah, he's uh, Malcolm and got this bonnet. He hasn't he? got that bonnet no, built. No, so he's, you're like, talking, he's lagging behind on yeah, that. It's quite a bit lighter and it looks really cool. And it's got the built in gold events, which is really good. Yes. Yeah. So we like it, don't we, Rich? Yes, we do. We do. Obviously, you've got all the, all the hoses as well done. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's, it's good to show the comparisons, I mean, because that's got all the standard uh, coolant hoses, ancillary hoses radiator and all that sort of stuff whereas yours and Malcolm's has got the full works but then so it, Carlo, gives, it gives people Carlo, look <laughs> here's what you can have this is what yeah. you could have had or can have is that the, yeah yeah well <clears throat> he needs to uh, he needs to think seriously about the water meth yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, as a yeah. as an owner of it, I'm sure well, Malcolm would agree. Yeah. It's a real yeah, yeah. change I mean, to, uh, to driving experience. The experience from customers, but the experience from that Rich has had on circuit because he drove the little beast yeah. with no meth well, we, before we installed the meth just on the RT330. It was impressive yeah. enough. And then when we cranked it up in, uh, with the methanol, Rich is oh, just. It's uh, just uh, I mean, you would talk the, the, it, the, power, it, the response yeah, it time. It picks up quicker and, and also holds on to the power yeah. for longer. With the manifold. Yeah, the manifold is a big thing, but the meth, it's just, 
yeah just another level as mm. well yeah just um, gives you that extra punch and the cooler temperatures as well and it cleans your engine coil up, it so, does yes you know, you're looking after it. it's a win-win really yeah 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 so i mean we know how carbon build up these di engines can suffer no, from yeah, it exactly. so it's it's, it's a good directly. it's a good way of yeah, exactly. you know preventing yeah. that happening so your brakes so how long you had these on you know to me um it's well about november 2018 yeah so, so, yeah. so old, old timer old timers really they've these been, brakes been tested. Yeah. the fact is they've been parked off all that time yeah well, they've still been tested rich yeah, they? Yeah. <laughs> From here yeah. to his house, yeah. Yeah, they get, yeah, yeah, yeah they get used occasionally um, when I'm just parking. Same, parks it off all week. Yeah. Stairs at uh, it. Uh, no, so they've, they've, they've been thoroughly tested. We're yeah, only, yeah. We're only, we're only, yeah. We're only uh, having a bit of banter over yeah. here, but they, they of course have been tested. Yeah, yeah. Um, but no, they're all, they're all pretty similar cars, but mm. all different in their own ways. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they've all got their own personalities, yeah. haven't they? They have, they have, and I bet you as well, even with all the same tuning systems on them, if they did. They don't perform differently. And cars seem to have a personality of their own. We think the little beast is a bit different to others. We don't know why, yeah. but well, it always need. I mean, yeah. th th that yeah. always needs to be a yeah. bit different, doesn't it? Of course. It's the brakes, but this is a bit different. Yours are spot groove, so you've got the. They're not cross drilled. They're just spot grooved, as it says, and then you've got a different design groove. Yeah. All right. So that's the different. Same on the rear. You've got the same. Same pattern. Same pattern yeah. on the rear. It works very well. The additions that you've got, well, which you forgot to, Malcolm's got as well. So the wheel nuts are really light. They're, they're yeah, crazy raised, light. raised oh, wheel nuts. Raised, yeah, super light wheel nuts. Crazy. Yeah. They're all like a bit of aluminium, you know, aircraft lightweight. And you can see. So this is off um, hashtag 021. Courtesy yeah. of um, Monty. Again, back yes. to the voice swap. It may mean part swapping yeah. again. <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, uh, with yeah. with the work that Monty's having done on his, the opportunity came up to get this one, and uh, we agreed a we agreed a price and agreed the details on that. And you try yeah. to find one of these viewers, uh, you will struggle. They are yeah. really really hard to get hold of. Well, I, I did say it on the install video, but um, yeah, you know, thanks yeah. very much, Monty, for giving the opportunity to get it. Really, because it's it's, re it's a, really a great good, addition, a really good addition to the car because. It follows the lines of the gloss back brief, which we had wrapped for you on the, and then follows it off, and then off it goes. Yeah, so yeah. it keeps it. It's not too much of, you know. I think it breaks it off nicely, doesn't yeah, it? And then yeah. comes flows down up to the gloss black. Yeah. TRC rear diffuser, which is also pretty cool with the red accents, which courtesy of Mr. Sticker, yeah. Yeah, very nice. And um, obviously, you know, this isn't an M Sport car, but uh, wanted to keep this just because it's part of the history of it. I mean, it come off an M Sport ST one hundred and eighty, so it just feels appropriate to keep that on there really yeah exactly so, and i think you've been approached by quite a few people asking you if you'd sell that <laughs> i have yes and uh no sorry guys um <laughs> uh not for sale very just to compare it's very similar to malcolm's to be honest the difference is malcolm wanted to have access to the underside so what we've, what we've done with malcolm's is it's cut there he's yeah. got access to the boot tidy whereas yourself you're not really bothered. No, I'm not really. Because, that so it, it's actually it. fixed down, isn't it? So that's why. But similar, same setup. The only difference is, is that well, it's actually the same. Malcolm's got the red. Uh, he's got exactly the same. Yes, it's yeah. all the same. I think yeah. he's got the same colour um, yeah. tank. Uh, yeah. or the top on the tank there as red well, top. isn't it? Yeah. Hey, look, Mr. Simpson. Yeah. 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 To me, I bet you play with that. Quite <laughs> often, don't you? Do you well, um, it? <laughs> Do you it's. <laughs> This is obviously yeah, the one. You can tell that I've been used a lot. No, 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 it's not. It's not got the same colour as the the one that came off the little beast there, yeah, is it? Right. No, don't know what's but, going um, on there. Yeah, this was the first generation uh, rear silencer that Simpson Race Exhaust developed for us, yeah. which was on the little beast first. But yeah. there will be an addition coming up for that one. So the one that was on Monty's, I'm getting the same one, which is the turn down version. So we always start off. Um, that yeah. We always start off with. Um, you know, there has to be a starting point. So that is yeah. like a, you know, the same, but we use Miltech connect bikes on it, 2.75 uh, inch. Yeah. Um, on the in, on the four size, we use Miltech connect bikes, and then we use uh, our own over axle bike, yeah. courtesy of um, Julian down at Proform, one of our other technical partners, to, um, all in the, the high grade stainless, and then a Simpson repackable rear silencer. Yeah. Like uh, Tim's just mentioned, Monty's is completely different. We sort of like evolved. That into a, a cracking system which Simpson done from from yeah. the rear, full three inch, full WRC spec, incredible. 
all fully V banded, so it's fully adjustable front to rear, yeah. and a slightly longer, larger backhook repacking rear silencer with a 45 degree turn down as per WRC. You're going to experience that soon, but yeah. that with the upgrades that we're going to be doing on it, weighing above at the moment, is going to be mind blowing, I think. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, more to come on that, guys. But we exactly. can't reveal on that just yet. But yeah, keep watching our social media because there will be more updates yeah. on that. As you can see, that's so. So down there, Tim, you'd have to show him with the button where it's down. So you yeah, still so your uh, the USB, but it's just down there. Position, then, uh, Same open, place as uh, Carlos, and um, yeah, that's just the electronic parking brake button, guys. So. On mine, obviously, because it's not stripped out like collars, I've kept the um, the normal handbrake, but it's just there for show purposes, really. It doesn't function, mm. but the electronic parking brake controls that now. And um, well. you got the uh, OMP quick release, which looks great. Also got it, you know, as a bit of security, you know, removing that one. Um, just another layer of security, really. But it does look good. Uh, a bit smaller, well, obviously smaller than the standard it one. It changes the, it just feels, the drive experience is weird. Yeah, it? Because, it kind know, of just, a steer wheel just makes it feel much more racing. Makes it, it feel more like a go kart. In it fact, I've well, I've driven an ST 180 since then with the standard steering wheel, and it just feels huge. Bus, feels right? like you're driving a bus or a, yeah. Well, the thing with them as well, the smaller wheel it helps to have less of a turn of the wheel from lock to lock. Yeah. The smaller diameter, the quicker you turn. So if you had a wheel this big. Turn it like that, you'd more likely go from lock to lock. But and obviously, steering wheel, big old bus, you'd be going like this, yeah. wouldn't you? And I mean, I mean, Rich might correct yeah. me, but with the material on that steering wheel, if you yeah, have driving gloves, gloves on, the grip's a lot better yeah, as well, isn't it? Suede on suede, and if you've got a leather steering wheel, you wear leather padded gloves. We've got the yeah. same steering wheel on the little beast, uh, which is where you got the idea from Amanda Malcolm. They are, they're, they're, they're limited edition steering wheels. You can't get them in the UK. Yeah. yeah. Well, you, sorry, you can get them in the UK, but they're. They're, they're, they come direct from Italy to the UK supplier, but they're they're like a living addition, aren't they? You can, yeah, yeah. You know, if you look up, it's on them. So we yeah. demon tweaks. All right, saying that because uh, everybody uses them, but there's, um, they will be able to supply that. They will supply the yellow stitch one. That's a quite a, that's a limited edition. Yeah, one. it is. Yes. Well, and you three steering wheel out on the little beast. Three the steering wheel's worn out. I'm going to be yeah. another. One. <laughs> <laughs> three cracking customer cars, anyway, and you know, all inspired by the little beast and uh, how it's performed and how it's been evolved. Union um, Jack cars, yeah. yeah. Union Jack cars, and yeah, as I say, it's nice to be back. Don't know if you like me being back or not. Come in, no nasty comments. Well, we we like you being thumbs back. Thumbs up or thumbs down. Yeah, we like yeah. you being back, Rich. And you do the outro, are we doing it together or yeah, can do, do a friendly me. thing? Yeah. It so you be. know what to do, you gotta like, subscribe, comment, hit yeah. that, it. and hit the hit notification button yeah, for, for when uh, when we post a new video. And uh, yeah, been great speaking to you guys again. Um, Sorry it's been a bit long, but you know yeah. what happens when he comes <laughs> when he's back on it, it's yeah. blimey, we can't shut him up. No, can't no. Him, yeah, can't <laughs> shut him up. That's <laughs> what he's talking. And uh, yeah, it, no, it's been great. Great to be back on the videos again. Great testing the cars and seeing you know the. And it's great to see Malcolm in the background yeah, there. Yeah. He's actually come into the background of the yes. shop. Yes, and going he's on? come down especially. Yeah. Yeah. Social distancing yeah. mind. He's come down especially to do this today. Yeah. yeah. So fair play to him. Yeah, because yeah. he's not being you know. Well, and he's uh, with the, with the weather, he's going to have an enjoyable drive home. Yeah, so he is. He is indeed. Yeah. yeah. And um, yeah, I think that's that's uh, about it. I mean, it's I'm looking forward to getting back on circuit. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's when when we can and safely. Yeah. But no, it's been great talking to you guys. Hope you like the video, and you know what to do. Thank you very yeah, much, thanks, guys. Thanks, See you later. Catch up soon. Bye bye.